The Homesick Elephant. Interior mall, yogurt place, continuous. They're sitting down. Jamal has a yogurt cup in his hand. Big TVs can be, see play, can be seen playing commercials in this place. We are in the middle of a conversation. Okay, so the short story is about a science team whose mission is to enter a mysterious African jungle and... Why? What do you mean, why? Why? Like, what are they studying? Who cares? Fucking trees and shit. It's a jungle. Anyway, they get deeper and deeper into it, right? And slowly but surely, they're being killed one by one. See, what they don't know is that they're entering an ancient society of killer baboons. It's human versus killer baboons. Right. It's got sex, murder, and baboons. And, baboons. and that treacherous Mr. Whitehouse stole it, kept the names, the mythology, and turned it into a damn romance. He made it about a lonely housewife doing it with a half-man, half-baboon thing. It's ridiculous. Uh, wait, so in his book there's no jungle or murders, and it's in a completely different genre? Mm-hmm. Sounds a bit like it's a different story. No, it's not. He still has the baboon. That's my thing. The baboons are mine. Okay. First off, please stop saying baboons. Second, you don't own an entire species. By that logic, every shark movie that came out after Jaws ripped off Jaws. Yes, they did. What's your point? Jamal chuckles, but Pepper is dead serious. Look, I'm just not okay when things are taken from me, all right? I'm sure you understand that. Be. Jamal gives up. Oh, he understands, all right. All right. The baboons are yours. Got it. Thank you. Jamal continues to enjoy the vanilla yogurt that he bought. Pepper keeps eyeing it. Jamal notices. Do you want some? I don't really get yogurt. Well, you're lost because it's really... Pepper takes it from him. She tastes it. Good. Holy shit. Pepper continues to devour it. Yeah. This is fucking awesome. Yeah, I know. That's why I bought it. It gets really messy. She manages to get some on her forehead and cheeks. Jamal stares at her. He lets out a smile. Nope. He quickly drops it. Bridget Brown, 20s, mean girl type, walks in. That's her. Bridget takes her order. You decided yet on what to do? It's already in motion. All right, give me 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Let me just give you... Okay, just tell me your plan first. You'll see in a minute. But I need to know you're not going to, like, beat her up or something, you know? What? I'm not going to beat her up. This isn't Street Fighter. Oh, wow, you play Street Fighter. Oh, wow, do you breathe air? Okay, just tell me it's nothing like ruining a funeral, please. It's nothing like that. Jamal takes a deep breath. Fine. Jamal reluctantly gives her the money. Thank you. Pepper walks towards her as Bridget's about to take a selfie with her yogurt. Bridget? Bridget Brown? Oh, my god. Pepper Watson? Is that really you? Yup, that's me. How are you? I'm amazing, but look at you. You look so much better now. I mean, somebody lost a lot of weight. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Oh, I can't believe you're here right now. So, what are you up to these days? Oh, I remember. You wanted to write. Is that still going on? Are you a writer now? I'm still working on that, actually. Sure, sure. I'm sorry, I gotta ask, what's your secret? But what, what do you mean? Like, what did you do? Was it liposuction? It's okay, you can tell me. Pepper can't believe what she just heard. Jamal nervously watches this interaction. It was just a diet, mostly. Working out, you know? Right. Bridget's face slowly changes, like she realizes something. Look, Pepper, are you busy later? Pepper is confused. I don't think it's coincidence that we ran into each other. I don't know, I think today is a special day, you know? I can feel it. I, I'd love to catch up with you and... Listen, I know I was pretty shitty to you in high school, and I, I hope maybe, just maybe, I can start desperately trying to make it up to you over a cup of coffee? What do you say? Wow. Just like that, huh? I'm sorry? Let's take a picture together. Let's do that. Uh, okay. Pepper physically moves Bridget's hand, forming a selfie position. They smile. Bridget takes the picture. Pepper nods at the yogurt place employee. He nods back. After they finish taking the pictures... Good. Let that be a reminder of our friendship. The TVs begin to play a video of Bridget in the school bathroom, applying her makeup in front of a mirror. Someone's recording us through a bathroom stall. Bridget's friendliness goes away. The, mood's cha the mood changes. Not She's in the middle of a racist rant against Asian people. Has something to do with eyes and eyesight. It's ugly to watch. 
Her friends seem to be entertained by it. People in the yogurt place are shocked by this, including Jamal. They seem to realize the girl in the video is standing right in front of them. What is this? How did, how did you... The camera turns, revealed. Teenage Pepper smiles. She's the one recording it. I always wanted to share that video, but it always felt wrong. I don't know why. Hey, I guess you were right. Today is a very special day. Oh, and in case you were wondering, I already posted that video online. I have a feeling you'll finally be trending. Bridget is speechless. Hey, what is this? Turn this off, will ya? What the hell's wrong with you people? Pepper slips the $50 into the employee's hand. He grabs it, very reminiscent of the Casablanca scene. Jamal waits by the entrance. He doesn't seem to be bothered by this. He's kind of enjoying it. Bridget goes fucking insane. Turn this off! Do you hear me? Turn this fucking thing off! I'll, I'll sue you! I'll sue everybody in here! She says, all the, she says all that while kicking the chairs and throwing shit around. Pepper and Jamal walk away, but we hear... You fucking bitch! Pepper stops. You ruined it! You ruined everything! Fine. I'll take you to another yogurt shop. You'll love it. You know, I actually felt sorry for you. I wanted to do better. I wanted to fix things. But no! You go and do this shit. What the hell is wrong with you? Bridget moves closer. Look at you. You haven't changed. You know, deep down, you're still the same angry freak you were back in high school, aren't you? Pepper processes this. Jamal seems a bit nervous about what she's going to do. But we, but what we hear instead is... Yeah. Yeah. You're probably right. No sucker punch this time. She looks genuinely hurt by that. But she accepts it and walks away. Jamal follows her.